So if one has already experienced sex and the other one hasn't, the marriage is less likely to work out. Yeah, I believe that. Mm. That makes, makes sense. sense. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, because that makes no sense to me whatsoever. Oh, really? Why? <laughs> Tell me why. Because, like, I, like, why would you even, like, I just, I wouldn't even consider someone, how, how many, like, if someone's a virgin or not, if I, like... I, I, I don't bump into any of you and say, hey, are you a virgin? No, but when you're getting to know somebody, you would ask a question, no? Why? You don't want to know if the woman that you're with is a virgin or she's had sex with 100,000 men? Like, no. So you, you would marry a girl that had sex with 100 guys? Uh, why, like, why, why is a number? Like, I, I, I'm, yeah, so I just, yeah, that's a completely abstract concept to me. Do you want to talk about pair bonding? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I only, I like, yeah, I only discovered who you were mm -hmm. yesterday, mm -hmm. and yeah, like, yeah, and like, even the the idea of, the, yeah, the well, pair I... bonding is intriguing to mm. me because it's a completely foreign concept. Okay, so yeah, I've go never on. Well, even it, it's just in it, my entire life. Yeah, it's just basically like the more partners that a girl. Um, has the more people she compares him to typically and it makes her less satisfied with the guy she's with so for example if a girl is a virgin when she's married she has an 80 percent chance of having a happy marriage after 10 years where if she slept with more than five people it drops to a 30 percent in my previous videos where i featured pearl i got a lot of comments in the lines of she's not one of us she's just doing it for the money i want to clarify something guys i don't really care if she's not one of us as long as she talks some sense, I'll feature her. I don't agree with all she says, but I agree with most of what she says. Now back to the video. See how the guy couldn't answer Pearl's question. Can you marry a woman that has slept with 100 men? Before Pearl asked him the question, he could speak eloquently. So what happened? Well, it's because Pearl's question made him feel so stupid to the extent that he couldn't think of a good comeback. Maybe he was raised by a single mother or has a lot of female friends that influence his response. Even the way he sat showed he's a feminine man. Real men don't sit that way. If you're watching this video and you also think a woman's body count doesn't matter, answer this question. Would you rather marry a virgin or a woman that has slept with 100 men? Marry a virgin. Yes, you're correct. No sane man would pick a town bicycle over a virgin, if you know what I mean. Hold on to your belief. Feminists and women with high body count will call you stupid, insecure, misogynistic, woman-hater, all sorts of names. Never change your resolve for anyone. Honestly, guys, there's a big difference between a virgin and a woman with a 100 body count. It's a psychological thing. You might say I'm petty because of this, but I'm going to tell you the reason why a woman with a high body count is a big red flag. Any woman with a high body count is not a marriage material. A woman with a high body count can be interpreted as a woman that can't keep a long-term relationship. You might say, but her high body count was as a result of her not wanting a relationship but wanted sex. So she had sex with a bunch of guys. To me, a woman like that is afraid of commitment and she will definitely leave you in a heartbeat if you try to wife her. A woman with a high body count would never be able to bond with any man ever again because of how many men she has had sex with. All she wants is a big hard cock to make her forget the previous experience she's had. The cycle goes on and on till she hits the wall. You might say, what if a simp marries her? Well, I feel sorry for whoever the guy is because to the woman, he's just a retirement plan. The odds of him getting a divorce and losing his wealth is very high. I also want you to know that she married him because she couldn't marry the guy that made her come all over the bed. Probably because the simp is richer than him or she doesn't want people to judge her. That's pretty much it. Divorce rate statistics and STD risk aside, having a high body count is extremely unattractive to most men for two simple reasons. Men want to feel like they are someone special to their woman. No man wants to risk getting cheated on. Women will say my past does not define me. Sorry, but we are defined by our actions and all of our actions are now in the past. If you go running, you are a runner. If you walk, you are a pedestrian. If you sleep around, you are a hoe. Women will also say, I was just having fun. Sex is for love, not for fun. Good luck trying to convince the men of manhood that you want to settle down with them, that you are done having your fun. Honestly, guys, 
I don't know anyone who has slept around that doesn't have something wrong with them. It's either father issues, mental illness, past abusive relationships, drug addiction, brain tumor, and many more. There is always an underlying reason. It is not normal behavior. Men and women who say they don't care about someone's past are either naive or have a past they hope someone won't care about themselves. That's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time, cheers.